Are you the type of person who likes to open their windows at home? If you are, stay tuned because we're going to be talking about whole house fans next. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you do click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Whole house fans are mounted in your ceiling and are used to bring the cooler air outside into your home. The second benefit of a whole house fan is that it cools off your attic, so the entire home can perform better and save you energy. Don't confuse these with attic ventilating fans that mount on the gable vents in your attic and point outwards. Whole house fans actually mount in your ceiling and then point towards the attic. So the difference here is a whole house fan will complete the cooling process much faster and probably bring your attic to a lower temperature than an attic fan ever could. Fox Family carries two types of whole house fans, the Quiet Cool brand and the Triangle brand of whole house fans. We love them both, but for different reasons. People usually find themselves really liking one or the other too. Quiet Cool is a brand that has stormed the industry with innovative thinking and low energy usage fans too. They started out in 2003 out in Temecula, California. Triangle whole house fans are the more traditional style fans. Uh, they're a little bit bigger and they might run at a little bit higher decibel rating but they move a ton of air very quickly and we'll talk more about that later. Getting straight to it though, uh, I want to point out the features of both fans and then let you decide which one is better for you. The first whole house fan I got from my home was a quiet cool whole house fan. I was drawn to it because as an HVAC technician I liked the idea of attaching a flexible duct to the grill um, that you see in the hallway and then placing the fan on the other side of that 10 foot duct. That way the sound of the fan is insulated. They have different capacities of fans too. Um, Quiet and Cool even has like a sizing formula page on their website that's pretty easy to use. But they are suggesting on their website that we uh, size the system for between two and three CFMs per square foot of your home. So if your home's a thousand square feet, you'll want a system that can move between two and 3,000 CFMs of air. So then you go over to the different models and find the Trident Pro 2.5 and the Trident Pro 3.3 will move between 2,500 to 3,300 CFMs of air. The technology I like about quiet cool fans is in the insulated damper that shuts off any access to the attic when, uh, when the system's turned off. Because the damper has an R5 insulation rating on it, they do a really good job of preventing the heat from the attic from coming into the home when the fan is turned off. In 2011, Quiet Cool became the first whole house fan to incorporate ECM motors uh, with the fan. ECM motors run quietly and at lower amperages than regular PSC motors. PSC motors are the ones that you've seen with the, on the traditional whole house fans uh, since the 1960s. Uh, they also require a capacitor to run properly and if that capacitor fails, the motor won't work. So you'd have to replace the capacitor um, before the motor would work. ECM motors are electronically commutating motors. A point I want to make here is that in studying the Quiet Cool ECM motors in the Stealth Pro line, I found that they operate a lot better at lower fan speeds. I'm going to touch on that a little bit more. So at my house, we have a two story, 2200 square foot home. Uh, I installed the 1.5 Trident Pro in my master bedroom ceiling near the door and I put a 3.3 Trident Pro at the top of my stairs on the second floor. I made a video on that one and I'll leave a card at the end of this video so you can watch the install. When I turned those whole house fans on for the first time, I wasn't really happy with the volume of the air that it was moving. I mean, it was nice, um, but I guess I was looking for a little bit more. So from then on, I always recommend it to people that they get the biggest one that they can afford and use the three speed switches that they give you and just adjust your airflow accordingly that way. The motors run more efficiently at lower speeds anyways. So, um, okay, well, point made about Quiet Cool's volume issues. I've mentioned it a few times before and oversizing your Quiet Cool fan allows you to use lower speeds, which can save you money in the long run. Triangle whole house fans. When you mention the traditional style whole house fans, most people think about loud, whirring helicopters rumbling in their homes. And, uh, and Quiet Cool does a really good job of making that point on their website. But, but let's take a look at an American classic, the CC series of Triangle whole house fans. As a technician working in hot attics, I noticed how much more these traditional style whole house fans seem to be moving. In fact, we'll even turn these whole house fans on during hotter days on install days so we can bring the temperature of the home up into the attic, which is sometimes 30 to 40 degrees difference. And at the same time, the homeowner has fresh ambient temperatures coming into the home through their open windows. On whole house fans, you're gonna find that the blades are a lot larger, they're thicker, and they're more durable. 
and the belt drive is the secret to its quiet nature as well. The motor sits on top of the frame instead of near the ceiling joist. Other store-bought whole house fans have the motor mounted directly on the fan blade without the use of a tension belt. You really have to hear it to believe the difference between store-bought whole house fans and our triangle whole house fan. All the noisy traditional style fans I've seen were old too, like, like 20 years old or older. So people were always uh, telling me that those things are so loud and obnoxious, but when we install them, man, I, I really enjoy, I think the sound of them are, is, uh, is great. You'll feel and hear the difference in sound and volume of air once it's installed. Think of these as the luxury cruisers of the whole house fan. So how much air do they really move? Quiet Cool fans are sized at 1.5 for 1500 CFMs, 2.5 for 2500 CFMs, 3.3, 4.8, 5.5, 6.0, and 7.0 models. So 7000 CFMs is the max you can get from a Quiet Cool fan. Triangle fans are sized in 24 inch, 30 inch, or 36 inches around here. Um, they do have a 42 inch and a 48 incher, but we don't have those around here. We don't install them on the residential homes. The most common 30 inch fan moves over 7,000 CFMs of air. And the 36 inch fan moves over 9,700 CFMs of air. Well, that's almost 3,000 CFMs more than Quiet Cool's biggest fan. So that's pretty impressive to me. So where do you install these? Both of these fans, like I said, they're mounted in the ceiling. The triangle fan is mounted on top of the ceiling joist in the attic, bringing the fan blade further back to reduce the noise. So no cutting of the ceiling joist is involved. The quiet cool fans can be installed in between the ceiling joists without having to cut anything either. And as always, the center of your home is the best place to put your whole house fan. Like my house is zoned, I have a, a smaller one in my master bedroom and I have a bigger one out in the hallway. Zoning your home with a couple of these fans is pretty common. We like to close our master bedroom door at night, so having a small fan in our room really helps on those nights when the Delta Breeze has kicked in. Most people don't create a whole new dedicated electrical circuit for these fans either. We usually tie into the existing HVAC electrical circuit for the furnace. And the reason for that is nobody really runs their whole house fan and their HVAC system at the same time. So here's something you might not know about getting a whole house fan. Uh, getting a whole house fan is a great idea, but do you have enough attic ventilation so that when you draw in air from the outside, where does that air go once it's in the attic? If it just compresses itself in the air in the attic and there's nowhere for that air to go, then you're not really bringing in, you're not really maximizing the potential of the fan. So you gotta make sure that, you're gonna wanna take a good look at the ventilation in your attic because you can only bring in as much air as you can discharge out of your attic. If the air doesn't go out of your attic vents, it will then go down your walls and other penetrations accessible to the attic. Quiet Cool recommends that you provide one square foot of venting for every 750 CFMs uh, the air can move. So if you've got a 4.8 model that pushes 4,800 CFMs of air, if you divide 4,800 CFMs by 750, you'll get 6.3 square feet. So 6.3 is the total size of all the vents in your roofing system that's required to meet the factory specs when it comes to ventilating um, these fans. So DIY or get a contractor. The best DIYers can install these things themselves. A little electrical knowledge about switches and proper ventilation of the attic will go a long way in installing these. Like I said earlier, I'll leave a card at the end of this video so that you can see that install. If you do need a little bit more help installing a whole house fan here in the Sacramento area, we'd love to be the company that gets to come out and do that for you. So what are the warranties on these whole house fans? A 15 year warranty comes with the quiet cool systems and only a one year warranty comes from the manufacturer of triangle whole house fans. So that's kind of lopsided there. Quiet Cool says that they will replace any part that fails for the warranty of that system. So what do you think? Which whole house fans do you guys think is better? Have you seen or heard these older style whole house fans? And what do you think about them? And what do you think about Quiet Cool's fans? Is it strong enough? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you do click that little bell right next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.